They are among Florida's new wave of armed guards on campus. It is part of a recent investigation examining school guardians' impact on shielding students from gun violence. We discovered what's also being protected are details of guardians who do wrong. It raises the question of, well, what are they hiding? Why wouldn't they want the public to know this information? Michael Barfield is with the Florida Center for Government Accountability, a nonprofit watchdog that advocates for government transparency. It doesn't seem right that citizens can't discover whether these standards uh, are working to protect kids in our schools. The school guardian program was born out of the deadly Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School shooting in 2018. It gives districts the option to hire armed guards or let school staff, including teachers, carry a gun on campus. Florida law protects their identities from being made public. But while the state requires districts report to them whenever an officer or guardian is disciplined or fires a gun outside of training, basic details of those incidents are also being kept under wraps. According to Florida's Department of Education, about 100 of these reports have been filed since 2020. But despite multiple requests for incident details, the agency refuses to provide us those records, telling us they're confidential and exempt from public disclosure, claiming the records are an integral part of the plan to secure the physical school building. The exemption for security plans does not apply to discipline of officers or school safety officers. When we contacted school districts, most also refused to release any details. Some told us the state directed them not to. If it was my decision, I would disclose it because I see no reason why uh, that information can't be disclosed. Pinellas County Sheriff Bob Gualtieri leads the Marjorie Stoneman Douglas Public Safety Commission, which first urged the state to adopt the school guardian program. Transparency is a good thing in my view. That's the way I operate. Parents need to know the good, the bad, the ugly. Ken they Trump is an Ohio-based school safety consultant. They need to know what's working well in the success stories. They also need to know when you have some serious problems, individuals with questionable backgrounds and individuals with questionable actions and behaviors in that position. But the Sunshine State is keeping parents in the dark instead. We're going backwards instead of forward on transparency, and I don't understand that. And in details provided to us by just a few school districts, guardians have faced discipline after being charged with sexual battery on a student. A few were fired after leaving campus during their shifts. And there have been cases of guardians accidentally firing their guns or leaving them unattended. But again, those are just incidents from a few districts. The vast majority telling us this information is exempt from public release. I'm Katie Legrone reporting.